One of the quickest ways to design websites using Divi is by using pre-made layouts. These are a set of layouts which have all your pages that you need, and this is a great starting point, but I don't like them. In fact, some of the layouts are so complicated that I end up deleting all the sections and I pretty much have to design everything again from scratch. So the second option was, okay, how about I design my own sections and my own designs? Well, tried this and it took me a very, very long time to do it. And in fact, you know what? I got, even got frustrated. So I was in the marketplace and I came across a very interesting product. This product is called the Basic Wireframe UI Kit. Now, this has all your sections. It has pretty much everything that you need for your website. It has light sections and it also has dark sections. So as you're designing, you can pretty much go in and choose which sections you want to go in and design. And they also have pages. So it is a fantastic product, but I want to show you how you can use this to build your website. Now, for this to really, really work, you need Divi Cloud. I mean, of course, you can use it on one website, but Divi Cloud is fantastic because you install all these in Divi Cloud, which means you can get access to all these layouts on any website that you start working on. So I want to start now adding all my layouts. So I'm going to come over here on this plus button and load from library. So you can see here, I am not logged into I, uh, Divi Cloud. So I'm going to click here on Divi Cloud and let me just say automatically log me in. So now I can come over here to my saved layouts and now we can see all my layouts are here because I uploaded them. And uploading these layouts is very, very simple. You just drag and drop them in. So I'm gonna close this for now and let's add a section. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna say add from library. So this way I can now choose what section I need to add onto my site. So what I'm going to do now is to come over here to the categories and drill down into the sections that I need. So my first section here, it's got to be dark, so I'm going to select here dark sections. So I'm going to scroll down until I find what I'm going to need. So these are footers. You can see I can actually start designing this really, really fast with my footers. So what I'm looking for here is a main hero design. So I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to click on it and then use this section. Next, I'm going to come over here and, la and add a light section. So this time I want testimonials. So I'm going to select testimonials here. And as you can see, we have different designs here of these testimonials, so you can choose the one that you want to go with. So I want to go basic. I'm going to go with this one here. I'm going to select it. Use this section. Okay, great. So you may be thinking, well, this looks very basic. You know, there's no color on it, and it doesn't look very exciting. Well, I think this is actually a great thing because we can now go in and add our own colors to complete our design. And let me show you how to quickly do that. To start adding our colors, we can come over here now to our section settings. Go to our background and I can simply choose my color here. So let's say this is my main color that I'm going to use on my site. I've just added it. I can save. Next, I'm going to come over here to this button here and add my own color. So come over here to design button. So for our text color, I'm going to leave it as white. And then for the background, I'm going to choose my background color like that. And also for my border. So you can see right away, I've gone in and I'm starting to change the colors to the colors that I want. Now over here on the right, we can add our image. So I'm going to go in, click on this area here, and then choose an image from my media library. So now I can save, move on to the next section. So this one here, all it needs is images to complete this design. So I'm going to go in, go to our image here. I'm going to go with this one, save, then come over here, do the same. Now, if we need to add colors here, you can just choose your colors from your color palette. So again, I'm going to come over here to this paintbrush tool so I can quickly access my colors and then choose my colors. So let's say this is going to be the color I'm going to use for my headings. I can just save that and keep on moving. So as you can see, this was very, very easy to uh, start adding all my content onto my page using this layout. So the good thing about this as well is it is mobile friendly. So everything has been designed into this and is really, really fantastic. Now you may be thinking maybe this is only working on the actual page, but this can also work on the templates. Now let me show you how that works. So you can see here, I don't have a footer. And in fact, this looks really ugly. Now let's go in and sort that out. So I'm going to come over here to Divi and go to my theme builder. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to add global footer and I'm going to say build global footer. So now let's add our section. So I'm going to come over here to add from library. So I'm going to narrow this down and choose footer. And all these are my footers. So I want a basic one. I don't want anything complicated. So I'm going to go with something like this. I'm going to click on it, use this section. And there is my footer. All I have to do now is to go in and 
change all my links and update them. So for example, let's say this needs to be our About Us link. I can just type in there, highlight it, and add my link by coming over here to this chain icon. So I'm gonna add a blank link, but in your case, you can add a link that goes to your page, and then I'm just gonna save. So as you can see, very, very easy to use. You can also go in and add your colors. But now that this is complete, let's just delete this, and let's save this now. Now remember, this is what we had on our site. So after I've uh, saved everything, in fact, let's get out of here, save changes. Now, if we refresh this page, you're going to notice now that we now have a footer. So there you go, this is our footer. This is possible using the Divi wireframe UI kit. So I highly recommend it. It has all the sections that you need. I mean, there's hundreds of them and you can go in, move things around, change the colors. The price is also very good. You can use it on multiple websites and you can upload this into Divi Cloud. All right, I'm gonna leave all the links in the video description below. Purchase it and start using it. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.